Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Ganin's book Athletic from the Mushinin line. Uh, and basically athletic just means it's like a gym of sorts. It's a book that turns into a gym. So you can see this is Ganin here on the top. A couple of other figures which are not included in the set just chilling out on the gym. Here's a picture on the side where it shows it has the ability to connect to the larger treehouse playset. And then here's a pretty cool picture of everything connected on the side here. I think that's pretty cool. On this side just kind of shows you the pieces that are included. Not too much going on the top, or on the bottom rather. On the top you have just kind of a picture of the toy. And then here on the back it shows off some of the features. So pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a closer look. So this set comes with everything you see here. Here is Ganin. I love the color scheme for this guy. The light blue and the pink really pop. It looks really good together. Cool little bug eyes. Comes with these two double shurikens. And they just peg into the hands really easily. Only articulation is that the arms move up and down. The feet are a solid piece because they have the magnet inside. Got some cool butterfly wings going on the back here. So really cool little figure. Uh, you also get this little bridge piece, which kind of looks like one of those wafer cookies. And then you get this little training dummy piece. And then, of course, the main part of the playset being the book. I've gone ahead and put all the stickers on it. You can see quite a few stickers here on the front. This is the spine of the book. And then nothing on the back. Now, obviously, because this is a Japanese toy, this is the front of the book. If this was a Western book, it would be over here. <laughs> um... But they le they read left to right. No, right to left. We read... We, la, 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 la. <laughs> we read... That's a bit of a tongue twister. We read left to right. They read right to left. So that's why the book cover is on this side. But very cool. Lovely, beautiful stickers. Really cool. Go ahead and open this up. And this is what you have inside. You have this kind of random uh, scattering of pieces, which I'm assuming is like some kind of like jungle gym training exercise type thing. Uh, this piece flips all the way out and it's kind of like a bar for them to hang from. And the cool thing about this is it actually has a bunch of different configurations. So I think this is kind of the default configuration. Uh, anywhere there's screws, you can use the magnet to stick the character. And in this configuration, you take this piece and you peg it down. You can see that there's two pegs right there, two peg holes on the bottom of this. So you just pop this in and that pegs in right there. And then this guy can stick back here if you want. You can stick underneath here. And this actually spins around. Or you can have him here using the training dummy. So that's one configuration. Take this piece out. You can also tilt this up like this and tilt this piece up like this. And then you can see there are kind of two holes there and two holes here, so you can actually peg this in here. And this is a second configuration where you can have them stand here. The other cool thing is with the <laughs> with the metal bar, he'll stick with the magnet and then you can just swing around. That's kind of strangely fun and addicting. <laughs> So this configuration, I feel like you lose a lot of the stuff on the inside, but it is something you can do. Of course, again, you can stick here. This piece can still spin. The third configuration is to tilt it up like this. And then you can put the training dummy. We'll peg into this little peg hole right here. And then I'm not really quite sure what you're supposed to do with this at this point. Um, I guess you could just kind of peg it over here if you wanted, or just sit it off to the side. But again, you can stick over here, you can stick to this on the back, and spin. You got some nice stickers down in there, I know it's a little hard to see, but you can see there's like a screw that he's made into a dumbbell, and then some rope he's made into a jump rope. Some, uh, I think that's like a practice katana back there. So I'm not sure. I think either this one or the first form are my favorite. I really just love spinning them around on the bar. That's the best part. 
Uh, the other thing it can do, if you stand it up in whatever configuration you like, but you can take this, and there's actually two connecting ports up here, and you can connect this like this, and then this will connect to the treehouse base. You can actually do it like this as well. I think actually you might be supposed to do it like this. The other one might be too tall. But that way you can connect it to the treehouse base with this little plank. So give them a gym for their house. So, I mean, it's kind of neat. It doesn't have a ton of functionality, to be honest. It really doesn't. It mostly benefits from the fact that it has three different modes. And when I say modes, it's really just ways to set it up, configurations, really. But there's not a ton of features. There's the spinning thing up here. The bar is kind of fun, though. <laughs> to have him spin around, especially when he's on the side like this and doesn't have gravity helping him. It's kind of funny. So I do think the bar is kind of fun. All these uh, screws over here are kind of fun, too, for the magnet effect. And then you have the training dummy. So all in all, not a ton of features, uh, but I still think it's a fun little set. I think it was around $15, $17 before shipping, something like that. So not totally uh, expensive if you'd like to pick it up. The figure that comes with it I think is fantastic. Uh, the little training dummy is pretty cool. And the features it does have are decent. Uh, it's not probably one of the most amazing sets. Uh, the soda can, in my opinion, is probably one of the... And I really liked the uh, burger place, too. Those are my two favorite little uh, sets about this size class, I should say. The kind of $17 size sets. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty fun. I definitely, if you're into this line, I think it's another good addition. And I like the ability to connect directly to the larger treehouse base. So that's kind of cool, too. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.